Did you know that the sun can provide the energy to pump water to your small garden? Richard Tyson, our County Extension Director, is with me to show us how to do this. Welcome, Richard. Thank you, Celeste. It's good to be here. So, Richard, uh, how can solar power be used in the garden? Well, there are several different types of solar power systems that you could set up in the, in the garden. Uh, if you need continuously flowing uh, voltage uh, using alternating current, which is what we have in our homes, then you would need a solar panel hooked up to a battery with a charge controller and an inverter, and all of that equipment would have to be put in a shed or some kind of a waterproof structure. So that can be expensive, and it's very dangerous as well if you're not familiar with uh, the setup and operating procedures. What we're going to talk about today is a very simple direct current system that will power a water pump that's easy to use in a backyard water feature or small hydroponic system. So water feature, you mean like a pond or something sure. like a fountain? Small fountain, that's correct. And then correct. hydroponics would be actually be growing Similar something. Similar to this. That's which is correct. what you brought today. That's correct. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit how we would set that up and then operate it. Okay. The first thing you do is you buy a marine bilge pump from a boat uh, store that handles boat parts and you look at the amps and the voltage on the pump. You want to, then you go buy the solar panel. So you want to buy the solar panel that has a similar amperage and voltage as the pump. The amps are recommended to be a little bit uh, lower on the solar panel, but the voltage could be higher on the solar panel mm -hmm. or lower, either one. If it's higher, then you want to put a little uh, damper or resistor in the line from the solar panel to the pump so when the sun's at full strength in the middle of the day, mm -hmm. it doesn't over send too much power to the pump. So basically, that's how you make your choices. Now, to set it up and operate it, you begin by purchasing a, an extension cord, and then you cut the extension cord in half. And if you want to turn that over, Celeste, we'll show how to set this up. The plug side of the extension cord is what you hook in to the, pan the back of the panel. And in this case, uh, we have already uh, sized our pump and our panel, and we know that this, the voltage is a little bit higher on this, so we have this damper or resistor in the positive side of the line that runs out of there. Then you take your uh, plug-in side, and you attach the wiring from the pump to the uh, wiring from the extension cord and make sure that your positive and negative lines match up with each other. At that point, once you get those connected, you separate these lines so they don't touch each other or you're gonna get uh, cross Shorting voltage up. coming across. And you, you get a silicon caulking material that's waterproofing and you, you completely saturate this whole area with the silicon and you let it dry and at that point, uh, the system is ready to plug in. Now, what it's going to look like when you're finished is that the pump itself is going to go into the water feature or to the bucket of the hydroponic system. You have your silicon covering which waterproofs it and seals it so that a lot of times, especially in a small pond, this part is going to be sitting in the water as well. So mm -hmm. that's why it's important to have that silicon on there. And then, so this, since this is the plug-in side of your extension cord, and you just attach it to itself, basically. And at this point, when you plug it in and the sun's out, the system starts operating or the pump starts pumping. And it's going to pump as long as the sun's out. Uh, so the advantage with the higher voltage then is it comes on earlier in the morning, stays on later in the evening. But it's not going to run at night. And during the winter time, when you have two or three days worth of uh, overcast weather, you may need to provide some supplemental water to the hydroponic system, but of course the pond circulation wouldn't matter that much. So that's how you produce uh, solar power in the backyard garden. Well, Richard, I want to thank you so much. It has so many different applications that we can use. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Sure. Now you know the different ways that you can use solar power in your small garden.